Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperus here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 2 of Kimi to Boku. Now, I don't want to sound overly critical of this anime, but the first episode just didn't do much for me in terms of making me curious about what the, the anime is about and making me want to watch more of it because nothing really happened. But I'm hoping that in this uh, second episode, we might get to know a little bit more. Something unexpected would happen and, you know, things will change just as... Uh, Shun, one of the characters, was alluding to in the previous episode right before it ended. So hopefully something does happen, something makes it a little bit more exciting, spicier, you know? So without further ado, let's get on with it. This is episode 2 of Kimi to Boku, starting now. His hair looks a lot nicer when it's tied up. Because at the very least, you know, he can kind of look like a guy. Always remember what? Okay. Okay. Tulips have the the strength to endure harsh winters. Now I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean. Although initially they're trying to, or they were mentioning seasons, right? So previously it was spring. This time it's winter. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the plot or. The characters interact with each other whether that's uh, some kind of symbolism or just the experiences that have that they've had probably anyway um i kind of like the opening song well not as much it doesn't make you excited but it does feel, make you feel a bit nostalgic because it it's pretty much reminiscent of the early no not really early but late 2000s early 2010s kind of songs, kind of alternative rock songs, and I like, you know, alt rock. So yeah. And, you know, the opening definitely shows one other character that has not yet been introduced. I don't know when that guy is going to be introduced, but... Oh no. Yeah, actually. She just go to the cafeteria and borrow the chopsticks or get some spares. Although if I were him, I'd probably just use my hands. Oh, okay. She's injured. Oh, 
旬のハンバーガー美味しそうちょっとちょうだいよダメですダメですってあなたそんなハンバーグみたいなほっぺして旬がご立腹じゃねえかなんか献上しろよ機嫌なもんねえぞ Okay, what? Oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't get what the, the girl's deal is, but... Why is she messing with, the, with him? Wow. 
僕のために思えたのか漫画のために思えたのか微妙なラインでしたけどね Oh my god <笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハなんか巻き込んじゃって別に<笑>漫画三冊で音は取れるかカーン漫画のために動いてたんだ<笑>でもなんであの子はこんなにいろいろやってくるのシュンあの子で何かあったなんかって四五日前に膝すりむいてる彼女に会ってそれで絆創膏を<笑>ああ旬の絆創膏趣味悪いからね柄が気に入らなかったんじゃないかわいいですよおい行くぞ授業始まるあの子だされたりするのが嫌なんだろうなきっと人に手助けされると無気になっちまうんじゃねえの一人でも大丈夫だって,って何してたのチューリップ見てました僕昔チューリップは冬もへっちゃらって知らなくて幼稚園のチューリップの鉢に積もった雪を大慌てで抜けようとしたことあるんですはい。
だったら無関係の人を巻き込んではダメです僕が許しませんまだ毛が治んないの、うん、いつまでその晩そこしてるの<笑>嬉しかったんじゃないの本当は人が追いかけるのは私だけじゃない。Yeah, exactly. Kind of a, an interesting conclusion、uh, to that episode. So, okay. At the very least, with this episode, we got to have something happen, right? We have another character, and、uh, even though it started off on the wrong foot, it, it sort of ended on, an, on a good note. Plus, I guess. The episode, the title of the episode really kind of directed what was going to happen, or you know, what the whole episode meant. So, yeah,、hmm, I think it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's generally just slice of life, a little bit of comedy sprinkled here and there, 
Not much romance. That's a, that's a little bit of a bummer for me because I was hoping that there was going to be a little bit more, that this was going to be mainly romance, right? But it's not, it's, it's slice of life, comedy. So, hmm. so far I think it's okay. It's, it's proceeding smoothly, but we don't really have a particular destination. So I, I don't know, it's just, you just continue going to the, to the next, till the end of the season, because this one has two seasons. So yeah, a little bit of stuff happened. Some conflict there it wasn't really that dramatic. It was just a bit confusing for both Shun and the other guys and us, the audience, because what what was that all about? Why would you hate someone for trying to help you? There has to be some kind of backstory to that. I'm not sure if we're going to delve deeper into it in the next few episodes, but uh, there's probably some kind of encounter that she's had in the past or maybe some kind of traumatic event that caused her to want to push people away. People who actually are concerned or people who want to help. Not sure if she's going to be factoring into the next few episodes, if she's going to become friends with the, the crew, if, if she'll start hanging out with them. But okay, at the very least, having another person in the friend group would add a little bit of variety perhaps and it's going to be a girl because right now there's just it's just the four guys we get to see a little bit of utah as well right anyway so that's episode two thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one